So Robert Pattinson is playing Batman in the new reboot coming in October of 2021. But what we should keep in mind, there was originally going to be a solo Batman movie with Ben Affleck playing the titular character. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to be talking about what we could have seen in Ben Affleck's Batman film. So one big part of the original Batflake movie was that the movie would have almost entirely taken place inside Arkham Asylum, where Batman would have to basically fight his way out. The best I can describe it in my opinion is it's basically Die Hard but with Batman characters, and I don't need to tell you how cool that sounds. Anyway, this film would have most likely focused on the graffitied Robin costume in the Batcave because it's been hinted that Robin was brutally killed by Joker in this universe, with Harley Quinn being listed in Suicide Squad as, and I quote, an accomplice to the murder of Robin. So the film would have most likely taken inspiration from the Under the Red Hood storyline from the Batman comics. Apparently the Robin costume belonged to Dick Grayson, which is a massive twist on the character since in reality Jason Todd died as Robin and not Dick Grayson. But still, this is a massive twist on the source material. Nothing was confirmed on whether any members of the Bat family would appear, but Jeremy Irons would have most likely returned as Alfred, reprising his role from BVS and Justice League. In my opinion, I would have liked to see Nightwing in a small cameo, and seeing Batgirl could have worked as well, but sadly we may never know. In terms of the antagonist, it is most likely that Joker and Harley Quinn would appear in the movie as maybe a cameo or if they would have a full-on role in the movie. There were also rooms at the time of Deathstroke possibly being in the film, with Joe Manganiello possibly portraying the assassin. If any other villains were going to appear, and we don't know because this film was set in Arkham, we could expect cameos from major Batman villains, and I'm going to list a few now off the top of my head. Riddler, Penguin, Mr. Zazz, Hush, Clayface, Mr. Freeze and Poison Ivy, but done correctly, and possibly members of the Suicide Squad like Deadshot and Killer Croc, if Suicide Squad actually turned out pretty good. Sadly, it didn't. So, Affleck was actually going to direct, write, produce, and star in the film, which is a lot to take on for a movie, but he'd later dropped out from directing. Affleck later stated in an interview on Jimmy Kimmel, that he couldn't get the script right, but that's relating to writing. Affleck was originally going to write the film along with DC Comics writer Jeff Johns, who was a big influence on a lot of DC Comics storylines, so that did in fact sound promising for the story. However, Matt Reeves then signed on to direct, while there were initial rumours after Justice League that Affleck was leaving because Affleck himself was unsure of his Batman future after Justice League. The rumours were sadly confirmed last year on Twitter when Affleck said, and I quote, Excited for hashtag the Batman in summer 2021 and see at Matt Reeves LA Vision come to life. To be honest, it is a shame that Affleck dropped out of the movie because his portrayal of the Dark Knight had so much potential and we could have seen so many cool things with the character and his universe. As of present day, Twilight and Harry Potter star Robert Pattinson, yes, Cedric Diggory slash Edward Cullen, is the next actor to don the cape and cowl and take on the Batman character, with Reeves in the directing and the writing chair as well. Alongside Pattinson in the film is Andy Serkis playing Alfred Pennyworth, Zoe Kravitz as Selina Kyle, Catwoman, Paul Dano as Edward Nashton, the Riddler, that's how he's being referred to, not Edward Nigma. Colin Farrell as Oswald Colpot, the Penguin, and Jeffrey Wright as Commissioner James Gordon. So that's basically everything we know about the Ben Affleck Batman film. Now, it is definitely a shame we won't get to see Batfleck after the Snyder Cut, but that's the world we live in. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, and I hope to see you guys soon for another video. Take care.